Hi guys, we are on the pulley problem and let's solve this. A 2 kg mass, 10 kg mass is attached over an inclined surface making an angle 37.53 as shown in figure. Then we have to find out the acceleration and tension of the pulley. Then this 10 kg mass is placed at a larger slope. Therefore, we can assume that this will move in this direction with an acceleration A. And as a result, 2 kg will move up with an acceleration A like this. Then, on analyzing the 10 kg mass, or let's use the formula, the net acceleration will be total external force divided by total mass. Then, what is the total mass of the system? The total mass of the system is 2 plus 10, that is equal to 12. Okay. Then, in order to find out the net external force, you have to pay your attention over here. That is, this 10 kg mass will experience a gravitational force that is 10 g 10 g is 10 into let's take g as 10 therefore 100 newton and i could resolve this 100 newton into one component like this and one component like this why we are resolving is we have to resolve it or resolve this 100 newton force into a component in the direction of acceleration and a component perpendicular to the acceleration then analyze this line this line is exactly perpendicular to this line and this line is perpendicular to this line as a result of it we could say this angle is 53 degree if this is 53 degree this angle is also 53 degree and you could say what is this this will be 100 cos 53 and this will be 100 sin 53 clear then in order to find out the sin 53 value we will have to study a triangle can i draw over here that is i'm drawing a right angle triangle and this right angle triangle is in such a way so that this angle is 90 degree let's take this angle as our 53 degree and this is 37 in our iit g question we'll call this as magic triangle okay then if this is the triangle the total angle is 180 degree then this side will be 5 53 the greater angle side will be 4 and 37 is opposite side it will be 3 5 4 3 triangle or 3 4 5 triangle then from this you could find out the value of sine 53 what sine 53 sine 53 is opposite side by hypotenuse that is equal to 4 by 5 then we could substitute this as 100 into 4 by 5 okay then what is 100 into 4 by 5 10 100 and the 105 will get cancelled and you will get 20 20 into 4 that is 80 therefore this side is 80 okay 80 then we are solving this side also that is this 2 kilogram it will experience a gravitational force downwards it will be 2g let me write 20 20 newton g is taken as 10 then this 20 newton forces resolved into two components if this angle is 37 degree we could say this angle is also 37 degree just like this 37 and this is 20 sin 37 coming back to our magic triangle sin 37 what's the value of sin 37 3 by 5 sin 37 is 3 by 5 then it will become 20 into 3 by 5 then the final answer in this case will be 5 and 20, 4, 4, 3, so 12. Therefore, this side is 12. Then we were finding out these two values for the net external force. Then what is net external force? Net external force, we will remember the component of force or the force which is in the direction of acceleration, it is taken as positive. Therefore, 80 in the direction of acceleration, it is 80. Then the force which is in the opposite direction of acceleration, it should be taken as negative. This is the acceleration means the opposite direction is 12. Therefore, 80 minus 12. This is the net force. Then 80 minus 12. The value of 80 minus 12 is 68 Newton. Then we'll substitute in this formula. We'll get the answer. That is the net acceleration is equal to what's the net external force? 68 divided by the total mass is 12. 68 divided by 12. The net acceleration you will get 68 by 12 and cancelling out we will get it as um, 17 by 3. Therefore, 
the net acceleration in this case is 17 by 3 meter per second square this is the acceleration and now we have to find out the tension in order to find out tension this is a single string therefore the tension over here it will be like this the tension over here it will be like this the tension will be same in magnitude and if I am taking the free body diagram from this particular case what we could say is net forces 2a 2 kilogram masses moving with an acceleration a therefore net forces 2a 2a is equal to greater force minus smaller force that is t minus 12 t minus 12 because this force is tension this force the tension opposite force is 12 and why I'm writing t minus 12 is the acceleration is in this direction therefore tension is greater than 12 newton therefore 2a is equal to t minus 12 then we will get 2 into a what's a a is 17 by 3 is equal to t minus 12 then t is equal to 12 plus 2 into 17 by 3 and the final answer if you are simplifying it you will get i think t is equal to 70 by 3 okay this is how we are solving it or for a better understanding if we are taking this diagram then we could write the equation that is 10 a is the net force that should be equal to should i write t minus 80 or 80 minus t in this case 80 is greater the acceleration is in this direction therefore 80 minus t then 10 into a is 17 by 3 is equal to 80 minus t and t is equal to 80 minus 10 into 17 by 3 and the final answer in this case also is 70 by 3 therefore no need of doing this if you are doing this it's enough or like this okay and this is how we are solving a complicated pulley problem